Good morning, 6.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, December 30th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Mish again. I'm here nice and early. My son has hit me up all night. But you know, it is what it is. Um, so I want to do an update. Um, DXY, as you can see, has flatlined at 103 spot 665. Had a big fall through last night. The crazy thing is, though, is when you're watching this, We've basically just come down to that downtrending support, so nothing's really faded away yet, but if we break this, we'd have to come back down to about 103 spot 198. So if you're looking to continue a push on the DXY, we'd be looking to hold that 103 spot 63, which right now we have. The Dow right now is down 101 points for the futures, S&P futures down 13.25, and the NASDAQ is down... Was at about 42 right now. So we're looking uh, a little bearish this morning for the stock market. We've given them back about 25% of the gains from yesterday already. Um, gold and silver remain very consistent. A little bit under pressure, but not terrible. We've got the total crypto market cap down to $752 billion. Like I said, with the dollar currency index dropping the way it did, Crypto showing exactly how bearish it is right now. This is very bearish. And if this bearish continuation pattern plays out, we've got a long ways down to $584 billion. So that's where I'm ultimately looking. It's just a little market recap here to get you going on this uh, last trading day of 2022. So it's, uh, it's an interesting one. We've got Bitcoin at 16498 Down about 130 points here on the day. 0.78%. Looks very bearish as well. Even with the DXY deep dive in, the price of Bitcoin has gone down with it. So you can see we've been in a heavy sideways consolidation. But this is really speaking to how bearish crypto is right now. Even with the DXY doing what it's doing. I mean, we've fallen through with Bitcoin even. And then hit the uh, uptrending resistance, which used to be support. Hit it perfectly. Now it looks like we're trending down to that 16,000 level. That's that's where it looks like we're trying to go to now is 16K. Which, I'm not going to confuse you. The best way to look at it was the other chart I just showed you. And then we got XRP continuing on these just very bearish looking patterns. We've had a bearish divergence on the 2 hour. 3 hour we're already done. Cross back through the four hour, we proved fake out and the 20 recross back below. And we had a targeted move on this initial bear flag that we talked about to 3287. And we're actually getting very close to there now. And if we continue down this bearish trajectory, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Right now, this is not pretty at all. This is getting very bearish very quickly. And it really looks like we're coming down to that 328 level 324, 328. Roughly, especially if we lose the 335, then you've got 328 and 324, your next two closest supports to try to hold on to. And then if you lose those, it gets very dicey. I believe we're going to try to trend towards that 2020 uh, low when the lawsuit was announced around 12 cents. I think that's where we're overall destined to go. And I know a lot of people still haven't come to the conclusion that that's what's going to happen. But these are massive bearish continuation patterns that must be accounted for. And at some point, it's going to get us down to the bottom of this descending triangle. It's just a matter of time until we get down to 16 cents and worse. It really is. That's why I keep saying sub 20 cents, but it's really worse than that. So if you're really hopeful that this is going to turn around, you better hope for a big surge of volume to push us in the opposite direction. So, just pay very close attention to this. I wanted to give you a head start this morning. So, I'm going to release this. It's only a five-minute video. My mouth's a little sore. I'm tired. So, I'll try to get a little bit of sleep here as soon as uh, Julie gets up. So, 335 would be right after we lose this 348 approximately. And then, it, it's there's not much here, folks. 335 in the 328, 324 area. But next support... If this breaks, you see, we broke here. If we break this 335, we come down to that 328 and 324 area. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to consider joining Tom's Army or 
trade on the exchanges I trade on, look in the video description below.